Hello Gemini, this is your Tarot forecast for November 2015. I know a lot of you have questions about what's going on in your life, how are things going to open up and expand, and so I've created a great tool for you. I'm going to be speaking about it here towards the end, so you want to follow through to hear exactly what tool I've created for you that you can use anytime, anywhere, whenever needed. I am so excited to launch this and I'm so excited to see what you think and I trust you'll come to love it. Uh, this month is going to carry a signature of a few levels here being presented to you. So let's just start off with you right now here. October must have been good in in a sense for most of you kind of opening up something. But then I'm also seeing that a few of you actually shut the door to a certain whatever in your life. It could be a little different for, for each of you. But I'm seeing whatever was shut down was something of your choice that you thought, well, I'm not using my energy here. And what's coming from that is taking the time allotment that you've gained from that by pulling yourself out of whatever that was is now really empowering you and that is the great news here the self-empowerment now to really dedicate uh, your desire into what it is you're working on or working at it is a time for you right now to really follow that creative inspirational spirit because it's like mm, brainstorming up here. There's not just one thing on your agenda. It's like you start somewhere, but from it, you will see that there's new creative ideas popping up, associating with it, as if there, there's this whole, should I say, spin-off off of this one thing that you started up on. Boom, boom, boom. And, you know, I call that as a synchronistic flow. And, you know, that's when we're really feeling good about ourselves. Why? Because things are coming easily to us. We're not really having to, to fight through, say, like a writer's block. You've got to fight through uh, getting it out. But here it's flowing. So you want to capture the most you can out of this flow. This is just here very early on in the month. So you're starting off good. Now, I'm seeing also something about... Money, I see vehicles. When I see vehicles, it's either literally uh, that uh, you might be out and about looking for a new vehicle to invest in, uh, but it could also be a tune-up, perhaps. Now, there is a male that is um, assisting you in this, either helping you look for a new vehicle, or it could be the mechanic that will over look and see what needs to be tuned up but a little money going out of the pocket there for it but it's one of those things where i see that you're just really happy uh for and of course even a tune-up we feel safer afterwards but it is also a month where communication is pretty much in the high seat for you gemini and uh, relationships is coming up here in that matter i feel that you're going to be able to communicate more uh, directly, openly, vulnerably, which is very important um, w because from that, this is when you can find growth in your relationship. If we're just speaking on the surface of things, well, we don't have a lot of growth, but we can keep things status quo. But for you here now, it's like opening up for this more of a depth will definitely put on a new signature, a new spin on your relationship. And so from it, I'm seeing here that there's two things that you might have been contemplating here over the last few months uh, regarding uh, the home uh, environment that you would like to actually change up. And this would be a good time for you, uh, Gemini, to, to actually bring it up and, and have somebody really listen to it. Take it in and say, yeah, I hear where you're going with this and I... I agree. I would like to be a part of that. So in that, it, it's actually opening up a new portal here. And then you're on the same page and I see you both being quite excited for whatever those changes may represent for you. And so here, now there is a tackling situation and I feel this tackling, you're on top of it. So you're in control. But as you're in this flow that we were talking about, and you are empowered, in control, there might be something unexpected 
uh, popping up that might have you need to shift focus for a little bit while you need to deal with this whatever unexpected situation. But I see you even getting on top of that quickly. And why? Because you're addressing it right away. You're not pushing it over to the side. Anything we push over to the side has the tendency to grow upon us and steal a lot of our mental space because we know we should have been doing this and that and we're not. So I see you just kicking into action and just doing it right away. So here is this person. Now this has got to be somebody around you here at work. Apparently he comes up at least like a co-worker. This is somebody who normally seems to be very charming and outgoing, uh, easy to be around. He seems to have a great sense of humor, just so that you can earmark who I'm speaking about. But then here in November, at some point, probably mid-month or so, uh, I feel there is a situation that he is going to come to you with and wanting to address, and it has nothing to do with you. So it's not like your supervisor or manager coming to you with a, a problem. It's more like he's searching for a solution to a problem, and he wants to come and pick your mind, pick your brain, and say, what do you think about this? How can we solve this issue? And you're a person, and I feel he feels you're the go-to person with it because you think very quickly. So solutions and troubleshooting is something that that comes to you easily. So uh, yeah, he he's and he's coming silently though. It's not a big to-do situation. It's more like he's pulling you aside and it's like, what do you think about this? You know. So yeah, you can be of great help, great assistance to him. I feel that this month here is bringing a lot of things to the table here in a good balance. Uh, before the month is over, I feel there is something being proposed. Now, whether that is work career related or if this is romantically um, related, because I see emotions being stirred. That's why I'm thinking it could be romantic too, but it could also just be on a very practical level. But I'm seeing something being offered um, to you that you, you can make a decision upon. And I think you're going to come out of this feeling really good. It's positive for you. Now, there might be also a, a looking into your other finances, not your income, but as far as how you could uh, look at um, the stability maybe of, of uh, some of your accounts. It could be, um, but I'm seeing there's growth there. There might also be somebody here needing uh, some money, so you might be lending or, or giving a handout to somebody who needs a little extra support. But listen, I see family here and I see travel. So you, this might just, of course, be Thanksgiving uh, coming up, uh, whether you're traveling to, to be with them or they might be traveling to come to see you. But there's some excitement, really looking forward to it because this is somebody who lives at far, okay? So out of town, out of state. And so there's this joy of coming together. And that is, you know, what Thanksgiving is all about. But here, listen to your inspirations, is what I would like to say. Now, this person at work that's going to come pick your brain, it's going to get you going. Because not only, apparently, does it look like you're going to be giving that person your, your first thoughts, which, which will come very easily to you, but I see you giving it some afterthought. And uh, so, make a note of that, so that next time you see him, that you can bring up even more so insights. So that that is one of the, the really true blessings you Geminis have is that you're so quick-minded. And um, so I'm seeing there's like back-to-back -back communication that can open up due to it. This is you after you have reconnected with him to give you more of your, your insights. No wonder you are the go-to person in that kind of situation. But it's interesting because it's showing up here two different places. So there might be maybe a room of a few days from the first initiation to that second one. But then here, a beautiful, happy, should I say, news insight from a girlfriend, a sister, somebody around you that you really appreciate. Uh, she comes up as a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or that could be just her 
uh, energetic signature, the way she comes forward. But there's something really divine taking place here for her. And I see you being uh, happy, really happy for her. And uh, then it uh, kind of shows here at the end of this reading that there is you taking hold and moving towards a new goal. And so there's whatever it is you're accomplishing or finalizing here in November, it's something not only that you feel good about, but it seems to be solid. And I see you getting some validation and good feedback from it from a male. So, uh, yeah, that, that allows you now to turn towards New Horizons here, end of November. So you're quite excited as December kicks in. So I have a new channel and it is called Pick Three Cards. You can find it on YouTube or you can also find it on my website anytime. Also called PickThreeCards.com. So the thing is, you hold a question in your mind, you go pick three cards and then you listen to the answer. Here's a little test so you can see what you can expect. And then afterwards, I'll put up the link. You go straight there and start asking your questions and see what answers you're going to get back. Now, here we have somebody who exhumes power and intelligence. This is a man that we all look up to. We respect him. He's got integrity. He has lived up to his higher potential. And this is a man above all men, all the other kings in the Zodiac. And it is because he lives true and authentic to his heart. He follows the guidelines of foundation in life for good rules, good integrity. It's definitely somebody that you can trust. If this man has showed up for you now in your question, you may expect this type of a person now to show up around you here in the very near future that will be supportive to you. It could be a father figure. It could be a boss or somebody that you look up to and respect. It might be a soulmate that comes in. And in that case, you will come to see in this persona that he reflects many of the facets of the diamond, meaning that you can come to recognize certain traits from the men that you have met along your path. And so you will feel very safe, very comfortable with him. And normally, well, it is definitely somebody that you can tie very, very good liaisons with. 